If your Mac is running slow and out of space, it might be time to clear cache files. Today I'm going to show you a few ways to do this, but before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you never miss out on our content. Starting off, what are cache files and the main cache types? Basically, cache stores temporary data to help apps and browsers work faster by reusing saved information instead of downloading it again. And there are three main types on your Mac. System cache, which speeds up your Mac by letting the CPU quickly access data. Browser cache, which saves website elements like images and cookies to load pages faster. And user cache. This is where apps store data like images and history to improve performance. Now, you might be wondering if it's safe to do this, and the answer is yes. It's usually safe to delete cache files because apps and browsers will recreate them as needed. However, I recommend being careful when clearing system cache. A good tip is to delete individual files but leave the folders they're in untouched. So, let's start clearing it up. I'll show you options to delete it manually or automatically. One of the safest ways to remove cache files is by using Clean My Mac, which is an app that removes outdated cache, temporary files, document versions, and more. To get started, grab a free trial using the link in the description and open the app. Then go to Cleanup and click Scan. Here, you can either click Clean to clear all junk found, or click on Review All Junk to check all cache files found. After reviewing everything, select what you want to delete, click Clean Up, and that's it. Now, before I continue, comment down below how many gigabytes of cache you have found with Clean My Mac. Moving on to manually delete system cache files, open Finder, click on Go in the menu bar, select Go to Folder, type slash library slash cache, and press return on the keyboard. Here, open the com.apple folders and move the files, not the folders, to the trash. Simply select all files you want to delete and press Command Delete on your keyboard. Next, clearing cache files in Safari is slightly different from other browsers, but it's easy if you follow these steps for macOS Ventura or later. Open Safari and go to Settings by pressing Command Comma on the keyboard. Click the Advanced tab and check the box for Show Develop menu in Menu Bar or Show Features for Web Developers in macOS Sonoma and Sequoia. Close the Settings window, go to the Develop menu, click on Empty Cache, and restart Safari. Keep in mind that this will delete your login details and autofill information, so you will need to log back into your accounts. Now, clearing the browser cache in Chrome is easier. Open Chrome, type chrome colon slash slash settings in the search bar and press return. Here, go to the privacy and security section, click delete browsing data. Under time range, choose all time, select cached images and files from the list and click delete data. Additionally, the user cache folder on your Mac can take up a lot of space, so removing these files can also free up space and make your Mac faster. Open Finder, click on Go in the menu bar, select Go to Folder, type tilde slash library slash cache, and press Return on the keyboard. Here, open each folder and remove the files inside. Be careful not to delete the folders themselves. Next, apps can also generate cache files and you can safely delete them. Once again, open Finder, click on Go in the menu bar, select Go to Folder, type tilde slash library slash cache, and press Return on the keyboard. Here, look for app-specific cache folders, such as com.spotify.client for Spotify, for example. Open the folders, highlight all files by pressing Command-A, and move them to trash by pressing Command-Delete. Finally, make sure to empty the trash by right-clicking the trash icon in the dock and selecting Empty Trash, and then restart your Mac. After these steps, it will automatically rebuild the cache files. Now, before I conclude, make sure to watch our video on how to speed up a slow Mac. The link is down below in the description. And there you have it. That's how you can clear cache on your Mac. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things Mac. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.